It's always a great day when we have the ladies stop by. And today we have Neo's artist Rayvon in the house catching us up on what's new and bringing us an exclusive. It's your girl Mikey, and you're watching The Drop. So we have Rayvon in the building. Hey. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> hey girl, hey. All right, now I follow you on Instagram, mm -hmm. and I dip and dab a little more often ever since you started doing a little something special for the fans. Oh. So talk yeah. a little bit about that. Um, it was just something that I kind of wanted to do. My team and I got together and it was kind of like, people want to hear me singing more. And, and I was just like, what could we do? And I'm like, oh, Instagram, a little quick snippet. Right. I have to do a whole song. And, and then it, it, um, it allows me to interact with the fans because then you know they can request songs. So I, I do request and then I'll, whatever song I pick, I add whoever requested the right. song. So it's, it's a great way for me to interact with them. And you be killing it. Thank you. Just FYI, Thanks. Ravon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the answer at the Kang Reloaded. Some of my biggest influences in music uh, would have to be definitely Neo. Huh. Um, Neo, Aretha Franklin, Whitney Houston, Brandy. Mary J. Blige. This is the answer at I Am Andrea Brown. My songs are definitely inspired by uh, real life circumstances, all my situations that I've been through, either I've experienced them or somebody really close to me has has gone through it. So it's kind of like me experiencing it with them. So yes, to answer your question, all my all my music is about personal situations. This is the answer at C Weezy 310. I am spending Christmas in I don't know if I should say what city I'll be in, but why not? I'm spending Christmas in Carson with my family. I have a younger brother and younger sister. My mom and my dad, that's where I grew up, so that's where I'll be. All right, now it's time for today's death right All right, you ready? I think I'm ready. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, shacking up. You know now with today's uh, day and age, that would be the first one you asked me to. <laughs> <laughs> death or don't. Don't. Okay. In a relationship with a guy, um, but your families don't get along, do you stick it through? Ooh. Mikey, you're asking me questions but that Seriously? <laughs> These are hard yes or no's. Um, On some real stuff, like, what do you honestly if you really, If you really love him. Honestly, them? if you really love him. Yeah. All right, just a good one. All these are good ones. That first yeah. one was like, <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> So, dating an athlete. <laughs> See how I did my face? I was like, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Would you ever date an athlete if, if, if one came to you and was very serious, like Rayvon, like, I love you, girl. You know, I'm willing to put it all on the line for you. What would you do? With knowing, you know, our stigma with the whole athlete thing. Yeah. Death. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll try that. You know. Out. Okay. Hey. Texting LOL or laughing my ass off with a straight ass face. Are you guilty of that? Death. <laughs> Don't we do that all the time? Like all somebody the time. says something, you be like, LOL. Yeah. Laughing my ass off. Yo, I think um straight face. But Why do we do that? She just I think she put it on Instagram. <laughs> it was she had like three and I was it uh, Kanye's face? And he was like, No, it was Kanye's face. And he was like and it was like, I LMAO, I LOL, ha, 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 with this face, the same face the whole time. Exactly. Yes. We, why do, why we, do we do, do that, though? Because I think, because, because texting is so hard. Good? No, because I mean, it's funny, but it's like, I'm not really laughing out loud, <laughs> but I get it. So I'm going to let you know, like, if I was with you, I'd probably laugh out loud. <laughs> you signed to Neil's label, mm -hmm. but you um, started out doing background vocals for various artists like Keisha Cole and Carrie Hilson. Talk a little bit about that. Um, I kind of got into that. Um, I used to be in a group, and the, one of the writers for the group uh, started, he was writing with some other writers, um, uh, a, a writer by the name of Sam Waters. And they called me up, they flew me to San Francisco, and I did a demo for Jessica Simpson pop song like way out of my box right. and I and I love to do it and um, they just started calling me back and my name just kind of spread around the industry so I, I did demos for Jessica Simpson for Carrie Hilson for Kelly Clarkson Allison Irajeda um, Michelle Williams um, Brandy um, 
just kind of everybody, Natasha Bedingfield. So I demoed Energy for, um, for Carrie Hilson. I demoed um, Love Like This for Natasha Bedingfield. Kind of just got, you know, in the swing of things and, and started making some pretty good money doing backgrounds for, Man, for, for everybody. Sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, also something that was dope to me, you also started doing backgrounds for the hit show Glee. What was yes. that like? I had Vocals. to get into the TV realm too. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, the same kind of way. Um, my name spread and it hit the, the I guess like the email of um, a good, well he's now a friend of mine, but um, Adam and he's over the music for Glee and they called me in. I did a, the first song I ever did for Glee was on one of like when they did the Madonna uh, episodes, oh, the very man, beginning of like the first season, the second half of the first season. And it just kind of clicked and it's about a good like 10 to 12 of us that go in and do like all the choir parts and all that. The actors do go in and do all their parts, okay. but because they're, you know, shooting the films and they have rehearsals they have and dance, they have a lot going on. They can't okay. do everything. So it's about 10 or 12 of us that go in the studio and kind of just do like all the choir, like the right. big choir stuff. Yeah. And so now you restore, you're doing your own damn I'm vocals. I'm trying, I'm trying Okay, on your bit. own damn song. <laughs> okay, how has life changed since your career has kind of taken off? It's been a, a huge change, but at the same time, I still feel like I'm me. So sometimes I, like I'm, I, it, it hits me like, whoa, wait, wait. Like, we'll be out in the, in the <laughs> prime example, we were in the um, airport, and I can't stand people stare, right? And so I'm like, what why are these people are staring at? at? Yes. I'm like, what are they staring at? So Twy, she's uh, my road manager, she's, on the, we're, she's sitting next to me, and she's like, I don't know why she's staring at you either. <laughs> And it was one of the people that worked at the airport. And I don't remember what city we were in. And she came up to me and she was like, excuse me. And I'm like. You're a star now. I was Hello. like, yes. And she was like, uh, are, are you? And she said, Rayvon. Are you Ray Rayvon? And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, OK. That's why you keep looking at me. You know, a lot of guys are getting together and they're doing these huge collaborations. Shout out to DJ Khaled and everybody that's putting them together. Yeah. But why do you feel like it's so hard for females to come together and do the same thing? It seems like we are doing more beefing than collabing. Because we, <laughs> as a group of people, are just so. <laughs> what is it? Either? I don't know. I just wish we weren't that way. Why? What, what Whatever the word is, I just, it's just this cattiness. It's just yeah. like, come on, let's come together. Like, I'm great friends with Bridget Kelly. I'm great friends with I Seven, um, oh, Adrian. So it's just and like. Seven's a new mixtape. Girl. Two snaps. Call me crazy, girl. but. But. Yes, if you don't have girl, it, make sure yes, you guys go get it. So jammy. So, so dope. Yeah. And uh, she's a great person. She, we're really good friends. So I feel like we're trying to bring that back and to come yeah. in together and be able to pull each other up. And I see that, you know. Yes. And if you could DJ Khaled that thing, what females would you put on a on a record to collab with? Mm, definitely Seven. Okay. Bridget Kelly. Okay. Um, Brandy. Okay. Oh Lord. Did Kelly. You, did you do backgrounds for Brandy? I did do okay. backgrounds for Brandy. So on the Brandy royalty. Kelly. And of course. Who? Beyonce. Okay, Queen V. Right? Auntie B, as we say. <laughs> Auntie B. Auntie B. It's great catching up with my girl Ray Vaughn today. But you know, she couldn't leave without dropping us off a little gift. Here she is performing her latest single, Best Friend. Perfect 2020, baby. No need for them glasses or them contacts. So tell me why, tell me why, why can't you see? Every time you're kissing her in front of me, it hurts. I'm human, baby, it hurts. I'm not your fucking best friend. I've been sitting on this bench too long while you're playing with these basic fake chicks and come complaining when it all goes wrong if you open your eyes and give sense a good try I'll be all you need and more than a fucking best friend Whoa oh 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 da 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 Whoa oh 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 And you can't tell me I'm crazy for feeling this way And maybe it's the wrong time but I'm in the right place So why you got me here? Look me straight in the eyes 
And tell me everything I feel is a lie Whoa Cause I'm not your fucking best friend now I've been sitting on this bench too long While you're playing with these basic fake chicks And come complaining when it all goes wrong Just open your eyes and give sense a good try I'll be all you need and more da 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 Wa-oh, 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 da-da-da-da-da-da, wa-oh, 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 wa-